Everybody get yeah. close? Yeah. Stay good. close. Good. All right. Good. Bang. Southwest Florida, welcome back to Lee Pitts Live at the 44th annual Dunbar Easter Parade. People are starting to line up. We are behind the scenes of the parade before it gets started. Going to be covering it from gavel to gavel, getting interviews with adults and children and organizations such as Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity, who comes out every year here in Southwest Florida, Mu New Chapter, to participate in the parade. The tradition has always been riding those bicycles, but not today. Riding in a limo, baby. Riding in a limo. Let's get a chance to talk to some brothers of Phi Beta Sigma. Let's get that, that mic up. Todd, first of all, you, you participated in this parade how many different ways as a DJ, as a coordinator? What, I let's mean, see, let's see. I've I've been the organize I've been an organizer, I've been a DJ, I've been a coordinator, I've been in cars, I've been on bikes, I've been in cars, and I've been <laughs> in floats. So Sigma's doing it all over the place. You've seen at least what, fifteen of these or more? I think about 15 or so. How about you? How many you seen, Wig? You grew up here. You probably saw him from day one. Yeah, I saw him from day one. So I've been here about 50 years, 53 years. So I've been seeing a lot of them. Yeah. Hey, did you participate as a kid in the parade as well? Not as a kid. Uh, one year I did as a kid with the baseball team. We walked in the parade. Okay. So that was very tiring, but uh, it, it, it was a lot of fun. Okay. Five Beta Sigma in the house. Let's get everybody's name. We got Albert Knight, uh, Todd Thomas, and William Hagen. Of course, I'm Lee Pitts. We're all Five Beta, new, new chapter. Let's go over here, to put that mic over there on the, on, on the Dunbar DJ Radio Man of the Year. That's, that's Big Al right there, Albert Knight. <laughs> Albert, what, what, what capacities have you participated in the parade over the years? Well, before I became put part over, of New Moose uh, Sigma, right I did mouth. it as Dunbar Community Radio. We came, uh, got in the parade and let people know that we were a radio station that was starting out. Mm -hmm. And then the brothers brought me in, and I did it as, with the brothers. So I'm greatly happy to be here. How does it feel to be able to come out here with all your fraternity brothers? And awesome. what, what's the response from the kids when they see you? Oh, they love New Moon Sigma, man. Oh. They're like, I want to be a part of the Phi Beta Sigma Club. Yeah, you're looking sharp, man. Thank you, man. Todd, the, uh, do we, are we throwing out candy today, or what are, we, what are we doing? Well, we won't be because we're driving some dignitaries in the car, but the uh, Sigma Beta Club, you know we have our own auxiliary club. Where we're raising boys from 7 to 18, the Sigma Beta Club. They will have candy, and they'll be throwing candy out as they go on their float. Okay. And, and William Hagen, uh, you, bo most of you are in the education system. I know the two of you are, you know, in there, out of there, tied, always educating somebody, too. Uh, what does this, this type of event do for the children? Do you hear the anticipation at school? Is it good for morale? What's the whole process? Getting them used to be performing in front of people that works? Yes, the Dunbar Easter Parade has been uh, synonymous to the community for a long period of time. The kids really look forward to this. Uh, it's like a very big event for Dunbar, not only Dunbar, but also for Fort Myers. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people, they're, they're the kids, their parents or their grandparents are somewhat connected to the Dunbar Easter Parade. So on a day like this, everyone is real festive. Everyone's having a great time and really looking forward to this event. Great. Todd, we've lived in different parts of the country. You've traveled the world. Have we? Have you seen anywhere in the country or any community over in the Miami area that on an Easter people come together, the black community, for a parade? Well, or you is know, this very unique? Well, I've seen a few Easter celebrations, Lee, but this one is unique because it's a family celebration and people come out. It's a big event every year, year in and year out. So this is unique in okay. Fort Myers. Albert, let's get back over to you with that mic. Uh, after this, everybody's going to head to Centennial Park. You know the tradition. Yep. Just kind of give our TV audience what kind of takes place at the park. What's, what, what, what happens at the park? It's just a come-together moment. There will be bands, should be out of Dunbar, high school maybe performing, a lot of dancing, and just a lot of festivities. Okay. People looking at us from all over the world, Todd. Uh, tell them uh, what, who are some of the people participating here. I know I've been mentioning kids. We mentioned Greek letter organizations. Mm -hmm. But you got politicians and a whole lot of other churches and things. Sure, we have, we have the uh, city officials. Sometimes we have the county officials. We have grand marshals every year, as you were once a grand marshal. Uh, Attorney John North was a grand marshal. It's, it's just a, it's a parade for the mm -hmm. dignitaries of this community to come out and celebrate. Cool. Now I understand today's Grand Marshal is supposed to be the, some NFL football players. You've seen the, the promotion on that? Yeah. Uh, tell, shot, tell, tell, tell TV all who's supposed to be uh, 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 the Watkins boy. Yeah, um, Jalen and uh, Sammy Watkins are supposed to be the Grand Marshal. That's what I see from the advertisement. So <laughs> that's a very good thing. You know, it's a, 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 they're a very big part of Dunbar and the, and the guys that are in, in the NFL, a Super Bowl champion and, and Jalen Watkins. 
And uh, so, you know, we look, the community is looking forward to seeing those guys, you know, being the you know, leaders in the Grand Marshals of the Parade. And again, people who are seeing us who don't live in Fort Myers, what's the relationship of the walking boys to the Fort Myers area? Oh, you know what? They're, they're, they're born and raised. Right. This is their hometown. They grew up here, played Little League here. They played Pop Warner here, high school here, you know, went to middle school. So, you know, they, they, they're used to this Easter parade. They grew up with it. Their parents grew up with it. Their grandparents grew up with it. So, you know, it's one of those things that they're, they're part of this community. I believe it when I see them. If I see them, we'll get them on camera. Todd, final question. You said something about you guys, the signals that is, Phi Beta Sigma. When I say you guys, that's me too. I just have to do like that for TV purposes. But you're going to be driving some dignitaries. Is that a volunteer thing, the Sigma again, giving back to the community? Oh, yes, it is. And um, got to give a shout out to our, to our frat brother, Shed Diggs, because Shed arranges it for us. And he says, hey, when we get those cars, Sigma's rolling them. Okay. What do we got? We got two convertibles over there? We got eight. Eight? Yeah, we got eight. We got about five here now. But Sigma's driving all of these? All of them. Yes, sir. Really? Right here? All eight of them. Okay, I'll get y'all on. Express. Okay. Sigma Express will be taking off soon. We'll be right back with more footage right here from the Dunbar Easter Parade. First time covered from gavel to gavel by a TV show, Leap It's Live. We'll be right back.